Hello everybody, this is Red Hill Eagle and this is TEW 2020. It's Monday, week 1 of May 2001. This is the World Wrestling Federation and this is Raw is War. The show opens with Shane McMahon in the ring with Vince McMahon and everyone's wondering what, uh, what Shane's doing here. And uh, that includes Vince who's out there and he says, Shane, you dragged me out here on uh, the opening of Monday Night Raw, what is it you got to say? And he says, well, I've got a uh, announcement about the uh, WCW, the company that you thought you crushed and that you thought you bought out. As it turns out, you didn't. It's my company. And uh, there's something else I've got to tell you. You, uh, you should have um, read that entire contract. You should have read all that small print because there was a get out for you, but you chose not to read it. And therefore you didn't execute the, the little get out and that little clause I put in there was that uh, I've brought the SmackDown slot. So this Thursday, week one, May 2001, Nitro will return to the screens. And the opening segment gets a 62. Vince McMahon is obviously absolutely gobsmacked. He can't believe what's going on. Just a little bit of a kind of behind the scenes. Um, I want to start off with WCW and WWF as their own entities, kind of build up WCW a little bit more, get a few months of the game carried out and we can start rehiring some proper, in inverted commas, WCW stars and then hopefully come up with a, a, better, a better invasion angle, but we'll see. But anyway, this uh, opening segment gets to 62. But Raw itself starts off with the Hardy Boys against X Factor. Nothing too much to, to say about this match. It's just a, an opening, really, to get things underway. And it's uh, the Hardy Boys getting the win when Matt Hardy pinned Just Incredible with a twist of fate. And it looks like uh, Jeff Hardy was head and shoulders above everyone else. I'm, I'm surprised he was that far ahead of Matt, but, um, but there we go. Now, I know I've blocked off a lot of... Um, uh, the, the road agent notes um, that, that is deliberate I don't want things like uh, storylines being ruined or anything like that but um, Jeff Hardy did get a 74 uh, Matt was um, a, a 61 but overall the match getting a 67 we then go to an angle with uh, Chris Jericho and William Regal now these two have been at it the last couple of months and uh, Chris Jericho approaches William Regal in his office and he says look I want you I want you in the ring tonight. You know, this is this has just been going on far too long. You know, me and you, we've got to finish it, and we've got to finish it now. William Regal says, I'm far too busy. I'm far too busy tonight to wrestle. I've got lots of commissioner duties to be carrying out. There's lots going on. You know, we've just lost a, a TV slot. You know, there, there's there's all kinds of things I need to be you know fixing here, and there's all kinds of things I need to be discussing with Mr. McMahon, and I just I just can't wrestle tonight. I don't have the time. He says, But I'll tell you what I will do. I will book you in a match tonight against the big show and um, a rating of 70 the previous rating got 66 i did these in two separate angles um, i'll do a bit more of that anyone who's seen my channel before knows i don't usually do that but i will start to do that a little bit i think um, again it's to kind of um, uh, delay um, surprises but uh, yeah so tonight chris jericho will take on the big show 70 overall in this one and then Al Snow takes on Rhino, and this is for Rhino's Hardcore Championship. A um, bit disappointed with the overall rating there of 57, uh, but Rhino does get the win in 8 minutes 11 by pinfall with a gore. Uh, it's defense number one of his WWF Hardcore title. Now, I, um, I wasn't actually watching wrestling at this time. I've recently got the network, and I've been kind of watching a few shows here and there around this time. I don't think that was his first defense, realistically, in real life, but obviously as far as the game's concerned, it was. Obviously, some dates are a little bit mixed up. This is kind of like the first Raw after Backlash, but in real life, I do believe there was a Raw before this one. Um, but again, you know, real life and TEW, you know, calendar and all that sort of thing don't match up. But yeah, Rhino successfully defends his hardcore title, and that's a rating of 57. Uh, Billy Gunn was on commentary for this one. And throughout the match, uh, Rhino, for some reason, just kept having to gloat, start gloating in front of Billy Gunn. Uh, you know, f posing, showing his muscles, showing his, I don't know what he was trying to prove, whether he was just trying to, you know, flex. Uh, but obviously Billy Gunn was um, getting a little bit annoyed with it. So um, 
we go to uh, post match and Billy Gunn confronts Rhino in the ring, gets in the ring. What was that all about? What the hell are you doing? Um, segment rating of 52, but uh, Rhino just destroys Billy Gunn, just lays him out cold, you know, gets him with gore, picks up his hardcore title, and just walks out. We then have a next week segment. So just on the screen, we get a graphic. Next week, Triple H will defend his Intercontinental Championship against an unannounced opponent, as yet unannounced. But he will defend the Intercontinental title. That got an overall rating of 74. Then Kurt Angle's in the ring. And uh, he just talks about he's being the best technical athlete in the WWF. He is, is just you know, a former wrestler, in the, he's an Olympic gold medalist. He is the, he just, you know, he's not necessarily saying he's the best wrestler in the world, although he probably does think that, but he's the best technical athlete in the world. That gets a rating of 74, but he's interrupted by Chris Benoit. And Chris Benoit gets on the microphone and he simply says, I don't know what you're talking about. There is no more, no one, more technical than me. I am the best technical guy there is in this organization and in any other organization you want to stick me in. Technical, you know, wrestling holds, submission moves, you can't beat me for technicality. And that's uh, 69. But then, Eddie Guerrero, his music hits and Eddie Guerrero appears. And he's standing at the ramp, the other two are in the ring. And he's just standing at the, at the ramp and he, he challenges them both on that claim. You two are nowhere near my league. Nowhere near it. I am the most technical guy here. I'm also a high flyer. I can brawl when I need to. Okay, lying, cheating, stealing. Yeah, that maybe used to be a part of me. But I've still got that in my locker if really need to be. If you guys get me in a real fight. But first and foremost, technicality. No one will beat me on that especially not you two and that's an overall rating of 69. Uh, Jacqueline then takes on Lita. Uh, women's wrestling isn't something that I usually concentrate much on. I'll be doing a little bit here and there mainly possibly to serve a story. It's not something that I've, uh, I'm used to booking. I don't usually do any divisions. I usually have a men's division tag team. I, I very rarely do anything like cruiserweight women's it's just from an organizational point of view, it's just what I'm comfortable booking, but I'm gonna see how I get on with this one, seeing as it was a thing in the WWF at this time. Um, but the match uh, finishes in seven minutes 47 when Lita beats Jacqueline by submission. A uh, rating of 50, I wasn't necessarily expecting much um, in the women's division at this particular time. We've been getting a few low scores at the moment, so let's hope we can just sort of kind of start boosting them with a few of, the, few of our um, later matches. And then post-match, Right to Censor appear, The Good Father and Bull Buchanan. Now, the Right to Censor, leading up to sort of WrestleMania and Backlash, the Right to Censor were on Raw every week. And in the game, they're not down as a stable. So I was kind of wondering, is, is uh, Ivory still part of them? Are they still, is, are they still a thing? I mean, they're still a tag team, but they're not a stable. So I was a bit kind of w curious about... Should I stick uh, should I stick Ivory in this stable? Should I re uh, recreate the stable? I wasn't quite sure, but certainly they're a tag team, and I, I'm going to sort of go with it for the moment with just these two. Um, but they come out and they just they just tell Lita, you know, you need to smarten up a little bit. You know, you need to start acting like a lady. You know, perhaps it's about time you got censored. You know, and because that's what they are. That's <laughs> a rating of 42. And then the Hardys come out. And of course, what do they do? They defend Lita. You know, she can dress how she likes. She can act how she likes. You know, she's a woman. She's, you know, a lovely girl. You just don't know her, you know. And it wasn't any of your business anyway how, how, they, how she dresses or how she, she acts. But then they end up uh, brawling. And uh, they, uh, uh, the Hardy Boys are kind of uh, laid out a little bit um, when right to since to start using some weapons. So... That's the end of that segment and uh, a rating of 45. We then have The Undertaker and Kane and they are talking to um, Two Man Power Trip and uh, basically they want a rematch. They lost their titles to the Two Man Power Trip. I mean, they're talking to Triple H because uh, Triple H was there 
he was um, preparing to cut a promo of his own, but the Brothers of Destruction came out and they're demanding a, uh, a tag team title rematch. Uh, they realised that Triple H is on his own and it wouldn't be fair. They're the faces here, so they don't attack him or anything. Triple H probably knows best not to uh, try to attack both of them on his own. Uh, but it's basically just the, the, uh, the Brothers of Destruction demanding um, a rematch for their tag team championships. And that's a segment rating of 88. Dean Malenko then takes on Kane. So Triple H never got to uh, have his promo. The time, I guess, was um, taken up by uh, Kane and The Undertaker. But a rating of 70, which is a little bit better, considering where Dean Malenko is on the card. And um, it's Kane who gets the win in 6 minutes 58 by submission. Jonathan Coachman then catches up with uh, Billy Gunn backstage. And he just says, you know, Billy, Billy, you know, uh, what, what was that all about with, with Rhino? What, what happened there? And, and Billy Gunn just you know straight verbal attack on rhino you know he's still a bit hurt he's sort of holding himself a little bit and he says this like i can be hardcore you know i might not come across like that all the time you know rhino thinks he's this that i, I can be hardcore if i want to be and i'll take on rhino on a fair one-to-one -one match you know whenever he wants wherever he wants we'll do it and that's an overall rating of 45. the dudley boys then take on right to censor and uh Poor match. The Dudley boys do get the win, however, in 7 minutes 23, when Bubba Ray Dudley pinned the good father with a 3D. Uh, Paul Buchanan was a weak link, uh, but a rating of 58. Another disappointing one, really, but as I say, you know, we're, we're kind of just... I'm getting a feel for this. Um, I did do an Invasion uh, series a long time ago now, about probably about three or four years ago now. Uh, didn't kind of get that far with it, uh, but I'm certainly concentrating a little bit more this time. I'm planning everything. <laughs> almost down to the you know the minute details i will make a, a few errors but but you know that that series was a while ago and um, again i'm just sort of getting a feel of the roster now there's not many major stars you know we've certainly got to sort of get a few people over before i think we can start improving on many ratings like this but yeah overall 58 dudley boy is getting a win here and then there's another graphic next week kurt angle takes on chris benoit that match has been booked for next week's Raw is War, rating of 65. And then it's the main event. The Big Show gets a win over Chris Jericho in 15 minutes 28 by submission. I think I'm going to have to start uh, actually booking the finishes. I usually just go for decisive. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to actually have to start booking the finishes. Uh, there was an interruption or a, a, a distraction by William Regal. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't put it here. I don't know if that is me, but it's definitely there. I, I definitely, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I put it in. I mean, maybe, maybe an error on my part, but uh, Chris Jericho gets the loss. He eats the loss here after uh, William Regal uh, did interfere. An overall rating of 71, please, with that one. Post-match, William Regal and The Big Show continue to beat down on Chris Jericho. But then Test comes out and he makes the save. Test, of all people, comes out and he starts attacking uh, Regal. And uh, once Chris Jericho kind of gets a little bit of momentum going because of that, um, Big Show starts taking a few shots and they both just decide to retreat. Overall rating of 60. Let's see what we get for the show. 69. Yeah, so we've, we've lost popularity in a few places. Um, not enough good storylines going on well hopefully we're gonna improve on that once we get a few more um underway in the next couple of raw shows we will have nitro on thursday that i've put that down to a b show because at the moment the roster is so it's weak so it just wouldn't do us any favors but from a storyline point of view from what you guys are going to see on screen you know we'll, we'll get we'll have some stuff happening over rating of 69 a little bit disappointing but i hope you enjoyed me for the next one where we continue this uh invasion story although of course at the moment it is just a lead up to the invasion but let's uh, let's see if we can improve on some of these scores i mean the, the best score 88 the best score by a long way being an angle you know it's not it's not great reading but let's hope we can uh, let's hope we can make some improvements on that if you've enjoyed this one please like and subscribe and i'll see you all again soon goodbye